Kane County Bar Foundation, a not-for-profit charitable organization that has been serving the community for nearly 20 years in the Fox Valley area. Over the years, the foundation has created a number of programs to aid those in need, such as the Children's Waiting Room in the Kane County Judicial Center. Really, it got started because there were a lot of lawyers who noticed that the kids were in the courtrooms and they really needed to not be in the courtrooms because the kids were witnessing all of the family court issues, all of the domestic violence issues. You know, we can't, we can't continue to watch this happen. So they really started to pool their resources and got a committee together and worked on getting things set up for the waiting room. I'm told it took several years, a lot of hard work getting a safe place for the kids to be so they weren't in the courtrooms. So when the child gets picked up by somebody else, most of the time they don't even realize what's happened. You know, a lot of times the kids are just like, oh cool, grandma's here. You know, and they go home with grandma and they don't know. It's a lot different than if they had been in a courtroom and seen their parents led away in handcuffs. So I think that we do make a big impact as far as that's concerned. The Kane County Bar Foundation also provides grants to local organizations. The Kane County Bar Foundation gives out grants to any eligible nonprofit organization. What we're looking for from a nonprofit organization is some way in which they are able to assist people of low income through the legal process. I work for Prairie State Legal Services. I've been receiving grants off and on from the foundations since they've been providing grants to members of the community. We reworked the grant process a few years ago to make it a little bit easier for people. We want to be able to give out as much money as we can back into the community. The good news is that the process that the Bar Foundation um, has in place is actually pretty easy to follow. They outline their expectations of us as the person seeking um, the, the the support, the money, and they also give us a sense of what their obligations are to us. The foundation helps the next generation by giving out scholarships to local law students. Our focus with the Kane County Bar Foundation scholarships for law students is to try and help the community in the end, and that is to identify qualified applicants. Uh, we've had the scholarship program since the inception of the foundation, so it was probably 1998. Um, it was probably the first year we gave scholarships and we've done it every year since then. Uh, I received the uh, KCBF scholarship in 2008. Luckily, we've been able to gradually increase the number of scholarships. The price of law school has just increased drastically over the last few decades um, and students are graduating uh, with more and more student debt so the scholarship is one of those things that allows students to uh, relieve some of that financial burden and really just kind of focus on their education. The Kane County Bar Foundation recognizes those who aid in the community with their annual Pro Bono Award. The foundation focuses on helping youths in the area. One way is academically, via their annual mock trial. So the idea behind it is that um, young people would get an opportunity to uh, present a jury trial. And uh, some of the team sits as members of the jury and then some of the teams will be either the prosecution or the plaintiff's case or the defendant's case and they do everything that attorneys do from preparing the case, preparing the witnesses to doing opening statements, um, cross-examination, direct examination, redirect examination and closing statements. It was it was great I mean it, it felt like it was so realistic I mean it was I think it really honestly gave me an idea of what an attorney has to do in order to prepare for a trial. Another way is helping troubled youths, this time with the Turning Point Juvenile Diversion Program. Well, Turning Point is a juvenile diversion program that we at the Elgin Police Department use as a means of youth intervention. And it's particularly designed for first-time offenders, those who have been arrested for misdemeanor offenses, uh, and it is a means for us to be able to establish uh, inner workings with life skills, leadership skills, and to address the matters um, from a more social standpoint. It's a four-week program. Um, Linda Williams, who is the coordinator uh, for the program, will contact me, let me know that she has received the referral and that everything has been um, provided for them to follow up with the parent. The referrals are made through the uh, schools or the police agencies and when those referrals are received, then we set up an initial interview with the parents and their teens. 
to go over a host of questions uh, for eligibility. Uh, we like to deal with early high school, um, anywhere between the ages of 13 to 17 years of age. Um, particularly when they are transitioning from middle schools, uh, they have a tendency to get more involved and engaged in activities that um, probably is not conducive to their learning. We've talked with several kids who've been a part of the program over the last couple of years and they've had nothing but great things to say about it. Here at the Kane County Bar Foundation, we are grateful for the generous support of our donors which enables us to improve and facilitate the administration of justice and promote a better understanding of the law. So please join us in our efforts to serve our community by donating today.